Hey everyone. Um, I'm first of all, I'm sorry. I know I was supposed to uh, do a video yesterday, but ran into a few issues with my hotel room. Um, it's not a big deal. They moved my room, so I love the Best Western in Kingston. It is amazing. Um, and if you ever need a place to stay in Kingston, I advise you on this place. It's it's awesome. I stayed here last year. I'm staying here again this year, and I will definitely stay here again next year. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I just want you guys to see something. This is so cool. Oh, it's not going to let me. Hold on. Ah, it's not going to let me show you the um, courtyard, but I'll improvise. Hold on. This is so cool. So check this out. Ready? That's the courtyard. Isn't that amazing? Look, there's a pool over there, a gym. And then there's, if you, I don't know if you could see it, but there's like an arcade down there. And this is the courtyard. It's amazing. It's awesome. Um, my room before was can't really see it but it was on the other side and it just wasn't it wasn't definitely wasn't up to um best westerns par let's just put it that way but anyway um so i'm here now and i'm so excited i was gonna go to some uh yarn shops today have to be honest didn't go i woke up i had breakfast and then i took a nap because i wasn't able to sleep last night And like slamming it not very nice but anyway so not that's not the hotel's fault that's the the people's fault but anyway so I took a nice long nap this afternoon in the morning I went to Walmart picked up a few things um, you know just a couple necessities for for the room and now I'm here now what I will say was I have been in the lobby for <laughs> and I'm not even joking for probably I would say three four oh that light though hold on I'm sorry for like three or four hours knitting knitting in a hotel and just so you know I was the only one there and when I mean the only one I'm not joking the only people that were there were the workers other than that it was just me in the lobby knitting and I can't begin to tell you how relaxing it is um, I just have a lot going on outside of here I'm sorry it's a little hot in here now um, I have a lot going on as we all do in life we all have a lot going on so this is a much needed um, I'm not trying to justify why I came uh, it's just I just needed a break I needed to get away and this is my one time of year my only time of the year that I actually can go somewhere and try to try to relax because you know I got my kids at home and I'm constantly calling them because of course you know I miss them and I'm sure they miss me who knows I have a teenager and a seven-year-old I'm sure the seven-year-old misses me but the teenager I'm pretty sure he's uh he's okay but anyway so the first room I had had a king-size bed which was great that's fine but for some strange reason, every time I stay at a hotel, they always give me two queen-size beds. So, I got two queen-size beds. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm always wary about putting stuff on the floor. So, I always put my stuff on the bed. Because I feel much I don't know why, it's, it's, it's just me, but I just feel so much better putting my stuff on the bed. <clears throat> Hold on a minute, okay. Um, oh check this out look what I got and I get to have all to myself ready wait uh, -uh. how about that what? that's my desserts because you know not that I need it but I'm by myself I'm you know I could splurge a little bit but anyway so that's that's what I'm doing so let me show you what I was knitting um, Again, I just started back up. I know I didn't tell you guys, but I just started back up knitting. Um, thanks to Eric. He kind of converted us, a few of us. Uh, still a crocheter at heart, but I will say I am very relaxed knitting. So this is what I'm knitting. And again, don't judge because I'm still practicing. Because again, I haven't knitted um, for years. Again, this I actually learned knitting first before crocheting. Um, but 
you know, crocheting is quicker for me and it's easier for me, but knitting, so much more relaxing. So please don't judge my project. I'm just letting you know. Now, I don't know why this camera is not letting me turn around, so I'm gonna have to pull one of these stunts. Let me see, I hope you guys can see that. But look at that. I don't, <laughs> it's got a little tail. I have to block it, but it's got a lot of mistakes. Um, like this right here, uh, it kept curling up, so I decided to put four pearls instead of just two. I don't know if you guys have any other ideas on how to keep it from curling, but I think that's, um, I think that's just normal. I'm sorry, my hair is just not cooperating. Um, but anyway, Eric gave me a few pointers, so I'm using his, uh, I'm using all of his um, rule, well, not rules, but all his pointers, because seems to be working. And you know what? Even though it's full of mistakes and holes and. <laughs> all this crazy stuff. I'm still gonna continue, I'm still gonna finish it. I am using, I'm not using any of my um, hand dyed yarn. I'm actually using an old mandala, I don't know about old, but <clears throat> an old mandala. This is in the colorway, hold on. Serpent, serpent, and I love it. So I'm using that, and um, it's coming out really, really pretty. I, I like the, the one thing I don't like, um, I like using the yarn, I do have to say. I like, I like knitting with the yarn. But one thing that I do have to say, I don't like the, the drastic change in color. You see, like there's no, it's not gradient. It just, it's flat out changes the color. I'm sorry, I'm trying to, you see how it like flat out changes the color? It doesn't, it, it's not a gradient color change. And, and that's the one thing that I'm a little weary about, but it's a practice shawl. It's the first shawl I've ever knitted. So, I, it's a practice one, so it, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I think that's it. I'm going to be honest. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to make it to any yarn shops. Reason being, this weekend is to relax. And I'm believe me, I'm doing a lot of that. Uh, and I do want to save my energy and, um, let's face it, my money, for Rhineback and Indian Tangled. And the new, the new um, event that's going to be at the knitting, it, I'm sorry, I think it's sponsored. I, I'm probably botching this up, but I know Christy Glass Knits um, is, is part of it, and the Knitting Garage is part of it, and it's going to be at a church. So I want to make it to that because it's their first year, so I definitely, definitely, definitely want to support them. So that way, hopefully next year, they'll come back. Um, aside from that, I want to make it to three events on Friday. I want to go, of course, first, Indian Tangled. <laughs> Can't wait. Then I want to go, and I wish I remembered the name of it. I don't remember the name of it, but, um, oh, what's the name? It's, um, I don't know. Look it up. It, it, Christy Glass has a video on that. So if you guys want to go and check her out, um, watch her video. And she talks, actually, you know what? You should all, if you're coming to Rhineback, you all should watch her video because she has a couple pointers for Rhineback. But yes, definitely I want to check them out. And then I want to go to Needles Up, which happens to be right in this hotel room. So that's very convenient for me. I'm so sorry if, I, if the camera is shaking. I don't have a steady hand. And I forgot my tripod. Sorry. I'll try better next time. Um, but anyway, I'm so excited. I did bring my... <laughs> So I brought my uh, Chow Goo Needles, my interchangeables. Let me tell you why. Just in case I get drunk and decide I want to start knitting socks. That won't happen. One, I'm not a really big drinker. Two, I think, I think I'm, I'm being overzealous right now. I think I'm, I'm getting way ahead of myself. I'm trying to finish this. I have quite a few projects on the needles and the hooks. And it's it's just overwhelming right now. I made a promise, um, probably like four or five years ago. I and I'm not joking. I had probably twelve knitting projects. I mean, crochet actually crochet projects, and I started to try to do knitting again. And I put that down really quickly. But um, so I tried, I tried to start 
um, finishing my projects. Well, it got to, to the point that I'm just like, oh my God, I was beyond overwhelmed. Because as much as I tried to do little by little by little, it just wasn't working. So what I did was, I said, okay, um, I'm about to... I'm going to say something, so cover the little one's ears if, if kids are listening. Just cover them just for one second. I figured I have this saying, either shit or get off the pot. So either I finish the project or I frog it, wind it back up, or cake it back, cake up the yarn again, and do something else with that yarn. So that's what I did that year. I did a lot of frogging. I didn't finish not one project, not one. I couldn't decide which one I was going to finish. I couldn't decide what... So I ended up frogging everything. And I actually did use the yarn for something else. Um, I don't remember what it was, but I remember because I don't have that yarn anymore. Oh, I know. I made um, an infinity scarf. And what else did I make? I made a couple things with, with all that yarn. So I ended up really using it. Um, but now it's like, I feel, I'm, I feel like a panic attack coming on because I have one... Actually, no, because I took the I took out my needle, so I no longer have that one. I have to cake that that skein up. So right now I have one knitting pro one. I'm sorry, one two crochet projects, right? Two crochet projects. I have. Oh, you know what? I don't. I only have the shawl, and I have one crochet project. So I don't have that much going on because I just realized right before I came yesterday, I wanted to bring the whole set of my Chao Gu needle, interchangeable needles. So I ended up taking the needles out of the other two knitting projects that I had. So in reality, I only have my shawl that's sitting right here. Sorry. And I have my one crochet project. That's it. No, two crochet projects. I was right because I'm making a baby blanket and I'm making um, a scarf. And vendor vents are coming up, so I really, I think I have to take a little break from knitting uh, because I do have to make the scarves for my vendor vents. And I do have a few orders already for the scarves, so I really think I should get cracking. But right now, honestly, I'm not even thinking about that. I'm thinking about nothing but having a good time here at, in Kingston. And tomorrow, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I. To be honest, I'm probably going to be hanging out at the hotel again. I don't know. Maybe next year I'll take a drive to, to the yarn shops. Um, so I did call one yarn shop, and they were very, very nice. I don't remember the name of it, but you have to call and tell them you're coming so they can open the shop. So I guess I'm assuming it's not a shop that's open all the time. Um, but other than that, uh, I think I'm just going to stay in tomorrow. I, I'm really enjoying just sitting there and just relaxing and knitting and you know, because I know Friday is going to be crazy here at the hotel because there's going to be a lot of people, a lot of knitters, crocheters, just just people coming to just enjoy and have fun. And I do have to apologize. Um, last year when I came to Rhinebeck, I didn't do a video. And it's really sad. I don't know what happened to the yarn and everything that I bought. I, I cleaned out my craft room and I'm just going to get really upset right now, but I cleaned out my craft room last year, this year, and I what I usually do is when I want to do a podcast, I put everything in a basket that I want to talk about, and I did. I had everything in there. I don't know where the basket is. I don't know if I threw it out by mistake, which I think I did. And there was these this this mom and this daughter who do um, I think it's knit two to stitch two together, and that's the problem. I don't remember, and I do apologize because they were so nice, and they gave me um. Uh, a holder for my needles and my and I, actually for hooks too and they gave it to me and it was in that bag and I'm like so distraught over that that's why I didn't do a video from from Ryan back last year and I know I've been slacking on doing videos I really need to get back into it um but other than that and again I apologize I think it's um oh, I don't remember what what the mother and the daughter what their names were if I and they're on my Instagram so if I see them if I see it I'll make sure to, to tag them in, in here if I remember. I don't remember what the name. Hopefully they'll be here this year and I'll tell them. And I just feel terrible, terrible because they gave me they gave me something and I wanted to show it on the podcast because they were amazing and they they do everything like by hand. They do it themselves. They they aside from knitting, they do um sewing. So and I I I just I feel so 
horrible. Like I can't even begin to tell you. And I'm so embarrassed to go even talk to them and tell them I'm so sorry I didn't do a podcast because I, I, I don't know I don't know where any of my anything I bought last year from Ryan Back is gone. I don't know where it is. I have no idea. Um I've looked all over the house. I've just I'm beside myself. I've had my husband, my kids, everyone looking for this basket and I can't find it and I honestly think it went in the garbage by mistake. So all my yarn that I bought last year, I don't I don't know how I don't I didn't buy much. I think I bought four skeins, but I love them. And I I no, I'm sorry, I didn't buy. I only bought two skeins last year, I think. I only bought two skeins of yarn last year. But I bought um what did I buy? It was two skeins and then what she gave me. And then I bought a couple like little little few things like pins and it's all it's all gone. I I don't know where it is and I'm I I don't even Honestly, I don't even talk about it anymore because I was so upset and I've already cried enough and, and I know it sounds dramatic, but unfortunately, you know, I love doing this and, you know, I love getting yarn. I love, you know, I have, I have a, a, a decent stash, which I'm trying to work through. I know we all say that, but I'm really trying to work through my stash because, you know, I, I, I don't have a lot of room. So I need to start destashing and getting rid of stuff. But um, anyway, I think I've rambled on long enough. And again, my phone is just, I'm sorry. I, I hope I don't give anybody um, motion sickness. But anyway, so right now, I think I'm going to go back into the lobby. And I think, or I might just go out into the, into the courtyard. And I might do a little more knitting. Oh, and just so you know, I wish... I, they do have TVs, but I'm not that brazen to go and ask them to put on the the Golden Girls for me while I knit. Because I, my ideal knitting and crocheting uh, situation would be sitting in a rocking chair. Don't judge. Sitting in a rocking chair, knitting or crocheting, watching the Golden Girls while it rains. That is the most amazing time for me. For me that's the most relaxing. Right now it happens to be raining, so I think I'm just gonna go sit by a window actually and just knit and I have, I was watching the Golden Girls on my phone on Hulu. So in case you guys didn't know, the Golden Girls and I Love Lucy are both on Hulu. So I will be going back and forth watching between the two. Um, and I think I'm gonna go back there. I think I'm gonna go back to knitting now for a little bit. And um, that's pretty much it. I will try to do more videos this year. Um, last year, I have to be honest, last year we went and I I honestly had such a good time. <clears throat> the year before last, I bought a lot of stuff and I spent a lot of time just, you know, checking everything out. Last year, I actually went and I enjoyed it. I don't think I took that many pictures. I, don't, I didn't do any videos, I don't think. Um, because I genuinely went and enjoyed myself. This year, I think since it's a third year, I think I want, I think I'm gonna take more videos and take a lot more pictures and, you know, dedicate myself to my podcast, really. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully on Friday, I'll be able to uh, do a video on, you know, the three events that I'm going to. Uh, Indian Tangled, the Knitting Garage one, I don't remember what that one is. Um, and then needles up. But anyway, I will catch you guys another time. And thank you very much for taking the time for watching my video. Um, I'm sure I, I know I lost a few subscribers and I'm sorry I haven't kept up with it, but um, I'm, I'm back on the saddle and hopefully it's a go for, for more videos. All right, I know some people asked me if, um, if I can show my needles and my hooks. I will, I'll make sure to get a video on that. Um, I just have so, so many uh, and I do have a hook that I'm very excited to show you I obviously didn't bring it with me um, but I will show it to you uh, it's my favorite and you don't find it unfortunately you don't find it in many stores and not a lot of um, not a lot of uh, stores carry them like the you know the, the yarn shops not many carry them and a lot of people don't like it I do have to be honest because it's very very pointy it's a, it's, a, it's a crochet hook it's not a needle it's a hook and it's very pointy, but a lot of shops don't carry them because some people don't like it. I prefer them. I love them. And I want to get my hands on a full set. Um, it is a little pricey. Um, 
That's why I only have one. I think I only have one hook. Uh, yeah, one hook. And it is a little pricey, but I will do a review on that one. I'll do a review on all of my hooks and, and you know, my needles and everything. So, um, anyway, it's been 20 minutes, so I think it's time to end it. But I want to say I appreciate everyone who's taken the time out to listen and watch my video. Um, I, I can't, I can't, from the bottom of my heart, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys uh, taking the time out, commenting, just you know, good thoughts and, and, and you know what? It's not for everyone. I know I do have a couple of thumbs down. That's fine. That's not going to stop me or deter me from making any more. It's not for everyone. I just, me personally, when I see a video, I never give a thumbs down. I just move on to the next one if it doesn't interest me. Um, so if you guys are not interested, if you feel you need to give the thumbs down, that's on you. Uh, you know, if you don't like it, you can just move on to the next video. There's a, there's millions of videos on YouTube and not, at, not every video is for everyone. So if you don't like it, you can, if you want, if you want to give the thumbs down, by all means, go for it. If you feel the need to do that, if you don't, then by all means, go on to the next one. But for those of you guys that do like it, I've, I, I so appreciate you. I really, really appreciate you. Um, and you guys can reach out to me anytime, uh, through, um, Actually, I'm also on Facebook. I don't know if a lot of you guys know that. Uh, 29 Stitches on Facebook as well. Um, yeah, I haven't even kept up with that either. Um, I'm going to do better. I'm going to do better. Hopefully, when things relax a little bit at home, I'm going to do better. Okay? Um, anyway, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you. Mwah! Thank you very much. Um, I'm not wearing any lip gloss today. It's okay. But check out my nails, though. I don't know if you guys could see that. Ah, uh, not really. Can you? Can you see that? I don't know. But they're super cool. Hold on. I don't know if you guys could see that. Well, whatever. I love them. I love them. Anyway, I'll catch you guys another time, and hopefully I'll be able to make another video tomorrow. All right, guys. Bye.